camera rigs. They come in all shapes and sizes for every form factor and shooting style, but not all rigs are created equal. Take these rigs for instance, the Cowboy Studio shoulder mount and the Optica X-Grip. Both can be had for $20 to $30, and it shows in the quality. The Cowboy Studio can't handle much weight, but for being plastic, it's lasted me a long time. The X-Grip, however, is complete garbage. It feels like a bungee cord attached to your camera and has almost no weight to add accessories. Of course, you wouldn't want to because it would add weight to the pathetically fragile handle. But there is an alternative to these rigs, something higher quality yet still affordable. This is a camera rig from Polaroid and it comes in at $60. What's unique about this particular rig is it's completely made of metal, uses 15 millimeter rods, and has its own quick release plate. Unlike a lot of other cheap beginner rigs out there, this one is in a completely different league. It's not made of plastic, it's not gonna break, it doesn't have garbage accessories, and it uses 15 millimeter rods. So you can swap these rods out with different rods, you can add other 15 millimeter accessories. It's very flexible use-wise. You can use it like this with your hand on the camera and your hand on the grip and use the monitor. You can add a viewfinder loop and depending on your anatomy, you can make that work as well. Or you can completely refigure this in any way that works for you. What's also really unique about this is you can actually turn this into a top handle rig and be able to get very low angle shots. So here is the Polaroid rig in a completely different configuration. What you see right now is nothing added to the rig. This is straight up what you get out of the box. And I've turned it into a top handle rig. And while it is a little tall, it definitely gets the job done. And there is a couple great things about this kind of setup as opposed to a different kind of top handle rig. First of all, you have a lot more gripping points. So normally on a top handle rig, you'll just have you know the top handle and some kind of rails. With this, I've got this piece that is extending below the camera and it acts as a handle. So between that and the grip on the camera, I have a very, very nice little setup. And you have this rod that goes up behind the camera, which can act as another handle if you're just walking around. And of course, obviously the handle on the top so you can get those nice low shots. And you didn't need to switch out to a different rig. It's the same thing while there is a little bit of setup time. But if you think about it, because this rig is so affordable, you could just go out and buy a second one of these and leave it in this configuration and use the quick release right off of the rig itself to switch back and forth. Something you could do to improve this rig is to add a monitor. And I'm gonna do this in real time, so this might take a little bit, little bit of time. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the handle from the top. One second. And what I have here is a small HD monitor. You could obviously use any monitor. And then I have that attached to a friction arm. And at the end of the friction arm, I have a little 15 millimeter rod to female quarter 20. So I'm gonna stick this on the rig and we're gonna make some adjustments. Something like that. I actually haven't put this on yet, so we'll see how this turns out. Put the handle back on the rig. Try to tighten it down with one hand. Something like that. Okay, beautiful. And now we're going to adjust our friction arm. Oops. Something in that department. Tightening it down. Sweet. So there, now we have a top handle set up with a monitor. This way I could get the camera really low and still have a image fed to the monitor instead of having it on the back of the camera. So obviously this is a really, really versatile little rig. And I think for the price, you really can't get much better. So if I was getting my first rig or if I needed some kind of handheld rig and I didn't have one already, this is what I would spend my money on. I would not spend my money on a $20 X-Grip 
or even the Cowboy Studio rig if I was able to save a little more and pick up one of these.